Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in today's episode, I'm actually going to be doing something way different than my typical gaming videos. I'm going to be doing a tech tutorial for you guys today. Um, a couple years back, I did a video about how you can actually use Cheat Engine, a really nifty tool, in my opinion, to actually hack unlimited items in Terraria. However, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Cheat Engine the same way to hack unlimited health. All right, so this is not an easy task to do, uh, not for the faint of heart. And um, before we go ahead and start today, guys, make sure to click that like and subscribe button if you have not done so already. It really helps us out and it'll really help us out in the long run and it helped motivate me to create more content for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Considering you have all the aforementioned tools downloaded, such as Cheat Engine, Terraria, Steam, all that. Uh, Steam Client's a very important thing to have if you want to do this or make it work. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull up Cheat Engine here. Okay, so as you can see here, I have Cheat Engine version 7.4. Uh, running right now. I'm going to leave the link in the description for Cheat Engine 7.4 for you guys to download because it is absolutely necessary that you have this tool to make this hack work. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start a game just with a throwaway character. Um, I'll just choose any character here. So for today's episode, I'm going to be choosing not Juicy J because that's the character I'm doing for my playthrough. I got to make sure that I keep that account intact. And if I, um, if I ever delete the game and re-download it, and that's the thing, if you ever use these hacks and then you decide to delete the game later, you will be unable to sync your data because the data will be basically considered corrupted by the game itself or by the Steam client. So you won't be able to actually reuse these characters if you decide to move to a different device. So it's imperative that you do not use a character that you like playing with. So I'm going to go ahead and create new character. Just so I can make this quick, I'm going to randomize everything. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, let's just call this throw away. Yeah, because it is going to be a throw away. Now we just go ahead and load the game up. Oh wait, no, that's on journey mode, so I'm going to have to make some changes. Just to prove to you guys that I'm not a bitch, I'm going to go ahead and choose, or select hardcore mode, because it would make it even greater to, to show you guys the results of these hacks. I'm going to call this one throw, oops, throw away. Way, uh, my spelling is kind of off. Whatever, we're just going to go ahead and play it. Alright. I'm going to choose a new world. Okay, so moldy terrain of delay. That is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and start this world. It's a small world, just so I can make it easier on my computer. Alright. Alright, so now everything's loaded in. I have, as you can see here, uh, well, you can't see, so well, let me fix that. All right, so I moved my webcam, or I moved the capture window so you guys can actually see my stats for once. So as you can see here, it is regular, normal, 100 out of 100, just basic starting stats. And uh, after this, there's really nothing you need to do if you're only wanting to hack health. You don't need to collect anything. You, I mean, it's you can just keep it at this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Cheat Engine version 7.4. Alright everybody, so the first thing that you're going to want to do once you have Cheat Engine opened, um, it usually starts off with no process selected, you know, as normal. And as you can see, there's a little highlighted box right here that's glowing to select a process. Now all you got to do is click this and look through your process list and find Terraria. The thing about Terraria is that every single time you start it up, the process is going to be different due to it having a name. Like every single time you open up Terraria on the computer, it actually has a different name, so you're going to want to have to select it. Anytime you have to restart the game, you're going to have to retry the whole process all over again. Which is annoying, yes. However, it's worth it in the long run. So as you can see here, I got Terraria loaded up. Terraria.exe. I'm going to go back to the game. Alright, so this part is actually the most difficult part of the process. Um, you gotta, you got to find a way to change your health. Now... While you could actually just give yourself some life crystals or some of the life roots you can find in the jungle once you get to... Oh, I can't stop moving. Once you get to hard mode, um, you're actually going to want to take damage. Uh, that's the easiest way to go about it. As you can see right now, my health is at 95. Oh, now it's lower, so I'm going to have to go back and see what my health is. 89. So my health is at 89. Now this part is tricky, so watch closely. you got to make sure you get this right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this. Oops, did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay, so you got to get the 
window back open and you got to type in the value right here what this does you got to insert a hexadecimal value which matches to every single other value in the game you got to scan it so first i'm going to put 89 because that's what my health is currently and if i'm lucky i can get it right on the first time though that is typically not the case um and the good thing about terraria on the computer is that when you're clicked off of the of the actual program itself it'll freeze like there won't be anything that happens in the game it'll just pause which is really handy in trying to get this to work because if if you couldn't do that it would be damn near impossible so while we wait for this to load i'm just going to let you guys know again please click that like and subscribe button and uh, if you find this tutorial to be handy please let me know by typing down in the comment section down below um okay it's nearly done all right, presto. So I already have the values loaded. As you can see here, there is a very long list of values that match what I typed in. And that's the problem because if we're gonna try and find the value itself by scrolling through here, we're never gonna get anywhere. So you gotta go back to the game and either take more damage or wait for yourself to regenerate health. Okay, now I'm at 84. Now what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to go back to Cheat Engine and I'm going to type in 84 and click Next Scan. Okay, it found two values, which makes our what makes this a whole lot easier. Um, I'm going to have to do some guesswork here. And the thing about changing values, you got to be 100% sure that the value you're changing is the value you want to change. Because if you change a value that it's just something random, it could break the game. I mean, while you can reboot it, you will lose all your progress and you'll have to start this all over again. So make sure to get the right value. Um, so with the 50-50 chance that this one is the correct one, I'm going to go ahead and put in 999-999. Alright? So if this works, it's going to change my health to 999-999. Okay? Now, we got to let it do its thing. Nothing happened. Just hold on a second, guys. Okay, so typically what that means whenever you're unable to change the value, that typically means that you chose the wrong one. So I went ahead and selected the other one. As you can see, the addresses match up. 3388D954. Now, if, if it does work, what you can do to make sure is you go back to Terraria. And voila! I got 100 health instantly. Okay? I just got hurt, and now my health went back down to 94. So if you want to make it to where you keep that infinite health and don't lose it, you constantly have infinite health and you, you won't take damage at all. What you got to do, it's really simple. You just select this box right here that says active. All right. And whenever you select that box active, what it does is that it will continuously update the value to match the number that you're specifying. So in this case, I'm going to put 9999. All right. And since I have the active box selected, that's, that means that my health is going to stay there. It's not going to change unless I close out of the program or the game breaks. Now, that's the thing about this it's, uh, compared to having infinite items. If you have infinite items or hack yourself infinite items, you can actually keep those when you leave the game. However, if you're hacking yourself infinite health, you can only have it in that instance. So if, you, if it closes or your game crashes for whatever reason, you're going to have to restart this process. All right, so now if it worked, we're going to see... Voila! My health is at 100. It's not changing. See, so I'm just going to show you guys the proof. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm continuously running into the slime, and I'm not taking any damage whatsoever. And you see, I don't know if you can tell, but the damage or my health is constantly changing to 100. It's just flickering constantly, and that's because I have the active value selected. It's constantly updating it. Basically, any moment that it gets reduced by any amount, it'll update back to 100. Which is really nifty because I could sit here all day taking damage from the slime and nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Which, again guys, it's, uh, just a fair warning here, if you do this hack, Terraria will become very boring, very fast. That's why I always advise discretion when using Cheat Engine on games like this, because while it is very possible to make yourself OP, and it even works when you're playing online with other people, it actually makes the game very boring and reduces the amount of time you play it by a great amount. Because all you want, all that you're going to basically be doing is making it to where you're OP. Like, nothing can be done to you. 
You can defeat any enemy that you want. I could base I could even defeat the Moon Lord in this state if I wanted to. Except for the fact that, you know, it would take me all night. Now, the one thing that I do want to advise you guys is that because my health is only at a max of 100, I don't have any more health than that. If I take any damage that's more than 100, you'll die. I mean, even though even though it'll update back to 100, though if you die, you're already dead. It it won't change that it won't change that fact. So, if you're going to do this hack, make sure that you have more than 100 health. And like I, in my opinion, if you get all the life roots, all the life crystals that you can muster, at that point, then the hack would be useful because no matter what amount of damage you take, you will never die. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this useful, please let me know by clicking that like button and dropping a subscribe as well. And also let me know in the comments if you found this helpful because I, I really just thought I, I'd make a video like this because I had been promising it for a while and now I finally come to deliver. Alright guys, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you tomorrow because I upload new content every single day.